Hey everyone, Ryan and Tom here. This week at Secure It, we're going to do a SHOT Show recap, and we're going to move into decentralized storage. Yeah, guys, I want to apologize. It's been a delay. We haven't been on, uh, we haven't done a show in a while. Between travel and age, I've got a lot of people um, in support of our Marine Corps contract, and then SHOT Show was a that just takes a lot of people and a lot of time. Yeah, it's just been a lot going on. But yeah. we're back here, and we're glad that you're with us. And it's been crazy. SHOT Show was, uh, was a lot of fun this year. We had a much bigger booth. We had, a, we had, we had the whole thing walled off, so we really had created our own, um, our own environment. And I thought it really worked. We took a bit of a risk in setting it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it worked pretty well. And what we noticed this year was a lot more booths were using our stuff to display their guns. Yeah, give them the list of who's of new companies. Yeah, so we had Palmetto State Armory, and they had a, a cool little funky like. Yeah, they're using thing. Cradle Grid in their booth to sell their and show their products. It looked, it looked. We've got some photos that we'll post up on social media. Yeah, we had uh, Horizon IOTA Firearms. They make custom long range rifles, really neat stuff. Uh, Falcor Defense, um, Davidson's, which is a distributor. Big big gun distributor. Yeah, and they had a they they had a gun wall in their booth that was bigger than ours. It was huge. <laughs> it looked really good, too. That's true. And then lastly, um, it wasn't at the show, but we are doing Vortex's Armory, which is a really cool opportunity, and they're really great guys. Yeah, guys, if anybody out there, if you're in the industry, if you're a manufacturer, firearms, optics, and you're looking for a storage or display system, reach out to us. We do special deals and uh, can work with you to really design something that works really well for you. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, SHOT Show overall was a, was a really good time. Uh, a lot of hard work, but met a lot of cool people. Yeah, um, I'll tell you what, the, one of the big takeaways, and it hadn't hit me until we were at the show and we spent some time there. You know, we're a gun storage company. We were there with our trues, all of our products. And I walk around to the other safe booths and, you know, looking at other people's stuff. We're the only company that every single product we had in our booth on display was maxed out, filled with firearms. And every safe company there, their safes were empty. They were showing empty product. And it really hit me. They can't show their product full of guns because they would be admitting that their capacity is wrong. They would be showing that their storage system inside isn't designed to store guns. What we build is based on military experience. We design a system to properly hold firearms. They design a system an interior to look good empty on a showroom floor. Right, yeah, our design is based around the firearm, whereas their design is more, how does it look? How heavy is it? Is it? Can yeah. you put it in your living room? And it's really not based around, can it hold firearms properly? It was amazing. You know, we, I come back to frequently the concept, respect doesn't end when you close the door. When you close the door of your cabinet, if those guns are just packed in there and you know, any which way, um, it's a mess. And uh, I think I'm hoping the industry will change. We're pushing hard to drive that change. But it was really neat, and a lot of people commented. In fact, when I first thought about that was because somebody said, you guys are the only people here that have guns in your safes. And it, it really yeah. struck me. Don't I hadn't thought it. about yeah. that before. That's but that's, you know what? We're, we, are, uh, we are honest and true to what we do. You know, we make, we build systems to store guns properly. Yeah, and... Kind of on that design, um, the fast box was catching a lot of attention. The answer 12 was catching a lot of attention, but yeah. the fast box was catching attention too because it's this concept of instead of putting all your guns in one big heavy safe and you have to stick it in the basement or the garage, you have you know a small system that you put under the bed or in your closet, fast access, and it was a really cool um, reaction for people. And I think that ties into decentralized storage very well. It does. A lot of people were talking, came into the booth talking about how they had structured the storage in their home using our principles of decentralized storage and the idea that the safest, most secure places in your home to store a firearm are also the places that give you a very good tactical advantage. We can review some of that, you know, front hall closet. It's a great place, fast box or two. Your front door is there. If you're at the door, somebody's trying to kick it in, your three second access to defending yourself, but the guns are locked. Thieves don't look in closets. They don't, the front hall closet is full of coats. Mm -hmm. Bedroom, that's the number one place for a thief is a master bedroom. Put one fast box under your bed. Give yourself the ability to arm yourself at night. Kitchens, thieves ignore kitchens. If you've got a pantry or small closet, fast box or even an agile cabinet, 
kitchens typically have an exit point to the home. So you can arm yourself and then get out of the house. Ultimately, you want to avoid conflict is the safest way, but you want to arm yourself too, just in case. Uh, guest rooms or kid, I mean, kids' bedrooms, I, there's a lot of ways you could look at that. If the kids are older, maybe it makes sense. That's a judgment yeah, call you have to make. If they're out of the house and you have extra bedrooms upstairs. Certainly liberals would have a real problem with it, but putting a secure gun cabinet in a bedroom closet, a non-master bedroom closet. If you've got a guest room or one of your kids is in college and the room is, is made but unused, a couple of agiles, even you know, a uh, answer cabinet, that's where I would store the bulk of the guns if you want them in an accessible area. Typically, a, an unused bedroom will be at the end of a hallway. you got guns there. That could be a meeting point if there's a home break-in. Get to that room. You can arm yourself, and you'd even have a shooting lane to defend yourself against just about anything. Yeah, and it really just, the whole concept is you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. You want to spread it around because yeah. you're not going to spend all your time in one room, and you want to be have a firearm accessible wherever you are in your house. And then again, you know, if you lock them up in multiple locations, a thief comes in, they're not going to look around. They're usually in and out 10 minutes or less. So they find one thing, they're out of there. I think it's just a really good way to structure your firearm storage. It is, and it's something that we've talked about for you know since we started. And this year at SHOT Show was the first year that people were coming up to us giving us their ideas and their interpretations of our talking points. It was really refreshing to see that we're, you yeah. know, we're making a difference. And uh, our goal is to make sure every gun in America is properly locked under the notion that just because it's locked doesn't mean you can't get to it in three seconds or less silently and defend yourself. So on the topic of decentralized storage, we're running a special right now. Yeah, it's on the fast boxes. After you know, talking to so many people at the SHOT Show about decentralized storage and hearing their thoughts and their ideas and what they were doing, um, we came back and said, let's do a promo on this. There's a lot of people who have thought about it, so we're giving you a great opportunity to jump in. Um, you know, not only are you going to save some money, but you're going to turn your home into a defendable fortress and your guns will be stored in a manner that's safe. Yeah, so we've got a special on a two-pack and a four-pack. Now, please note, if you're watching this video in the future, the special may not be available. But make sure you sign up for our email list because that's the first place we send any deals out to and you'll never miss a special. Yeah, we don't send out a lot of junk, a lot of spam or, or crud, but... If we have the opportunity to do a deal, and there are times when we get a military contract for our big Model 84s or the 44s, and we'll overrun it by 50 cabinets and offer them at a significant discount to, to consumers. When those deals come up, it goes to that email list, and typically those, we'll get the cabinets in, and they're gone within a couple of days. But whenever we have the opportunity to, to do some sort of a promo, we will. The way you find out about it is through that. We have no other way of getting hold of people. Yeah, so make sure you don't miss out. And um, I think that's all that we have for you this week. Yeah, guys, thanks a lot. We'll be back uh, in two weeks. See you next time.